if i'm being really honest i really 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 want to go back to sleep i don't want to be up right now like i just i still have some sleep in me i'm still kind of tired but i'm forcing myself to get up right now because i know i'm gonna wake up in like an hour and a half and i'm gonna regret wasting that hour and a half i feel like i'm always posting like productive days in my life um but as of recently my days haven't been all that productive like i like my days to be jam compact productive and the past like couple weeks it's like half of the day is productive and then half of the day i feel like is kind of wasted on me just like not being productive so that changes today and changes by me waking up early which i don't want to do <laughs> i just want to go back to bed okay i need to stop doing that because i will turn off this camera and go back to sleep um oh my god look my phone case came in yesterday look how cute it is another thing that i'm tackling today is being on my phone less for like the past two weeks maybe even three weeks i come to the conclusion that i have a crazy phone addiction and it's like taking over my life and i hate it okay we're getting up we're getting up we're getting up first pro tip of the day make your bed as soon as you get out of it and you won't be as tempted to go back to sleep roller thing from Rite Aid the other day and I've only been using it for like three days but I can't tell if I see a difference it just feels really really good especially in the morning and especially now that it's hot like I don't care if it's actually depuffing my face but it feels like a dream I'm gonna do a quick skincare and then I'm actually feeling like I want to go to Starbucks but not just to drive through and then come back home I want to actually go and like sit down and edit a video I haven't done that in a while but when I go just for the sole purpose of editing a video or sending out emails or just doing this one thing and just sitting there and doing that and then going home, I get it done so much quicker than I would if I was just home with like all of these distractions. As I was saying earlier with like my phone being my biggest addiction right now, like it's a problem. I feel like we can all kind of relate to this to like kind of like being addicted to our phones. But as of lately, I swear it's like I check Instagram and I check every single social media app probably like 15 times or even more a day like if i kept count of how many times i'll just go on my phone and scroll for like three seconds and then you know do something else and then come back three minutes later and do the exact same thing it's actually like a problem and i'm kind of like so over it i feel like if i didn't do that i would probably have like two hours more in my day so that's a new goal of mine as of recently um to just stay off my phone more most productive hour i've had in forever initially i kind of just went there like for the vibe like i knew i was gonna be super chill i was gonna be able to just do a couple things that i needed to do but i didn't expect it to be that productive i chose like a little corner outside and the birds were chirping the whole time i had a little breeze going i had a good little shade it was such a good time if i would have stayed at home for that one hour i literally would have gone on my phone like 30 times i would have checked instagram 400 times i would have played with my dog i would have done everything but sit down and work so that was really nice i literally want to come back like every day and just do something for like an hour and then continue on with my day like that was so cool i love that i really want to go back home and get ready because i regret not looking presentable but um i'm gonna go do just a couple quick 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 
errands that I have to do. Look, those like annoying ass errands that I do literally in every single video. I'm gonna do them really quickly because I have family coming over for the next like three weeks. I have like different family members staying at my house and I know it's gonna get a little overwhelming and stressful. So I wanna make sure that I have all of my annoying little errands done so I can enjoy, you know, the time that they're over. However, before I go and do the rest of my errands, I wanna give the biggest Thank you and shout out to today's sponsor, which is Liquid IV. They are literally one of my favorite, if not my favorite brand to work with. I adore them simply because I adore their products. Like I've said many times before, I am so bad at drinking water and like, you know, reminding myself to stay hydrated all the time, which is why Liquid IV products and their hydration sticks are so, so, so important. And they're just so beneficial and practical and convenient and easy, especially for me. I was like at a couple family parties these past couple weeks and I always carry them with me and I literally handed out like four of them to different family members. I was just like, here you go. You look like you've been drinking. You're gonna need one of these. If you didn't know, these are pretty much just an electrolyte drink mix that tastes so, so, so good. I'm gonna go in with my favorite, which is a strawberry one. One of these hydrates you faster than water alone. I have my water in here. Just pour this in. I give it a good little mix. And then I just drink it literally throughout my drive or throughout my day. You guys can get them at Costco or you can click the link down below and use my coupon code for 15% off. Especially during the summer, very important to stay hydrated and Liquid IV makes it so, so easy. Now that I did some work, I got my coffee, I'm hydrated. Let's go do those annoying, annoying little errands. <laughs> I made some pasta and now next up on my list is to clean i'm gonna clean everything and especially my closet and then i have this big old bin full of clothes and i don't even know what's dirty or what's clean so i'm just gonna wash everything um and organize it i organized it a couple days ago and it is a mess once again so i'm so excited because later i'm gonna go watch elvis for the second time i'm so excited I may or may not have made an impulse buy like two days ago and I ordered these hot rollers from Amazon and I've been using them for the past couple of days and I'm still trying to get the hang of them. I still don't know like where to place them or how to place them so I'm practicing but when I get the hang of it I'm going to show you guys how I use them. soundtrack mid movie like literally mid movie as I was watching it last time I started following Austin Butler on Instagram <laughs> regardless of whether you've watched the movie or not you guys have to listen to Casey Musgraves version of can't help falling in love honestly one of like the best covers of a song I've ever heard in my life it is so good but first I gotta go to this cafe and be productive and then afterwards watching the movie will be like a little reward so excited. If you guys haven't seen Elvis, you have to see it. It's literally so, so, so good. I've been recommending it to everybody and then I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't recommend it to everybody because it is kind of like a musical. <laughs> I also think Austin Butler deserves like five Oscars for that movie. Like it was so fucking good. And I'm not just saying that because he's really, really cute. Aside from that. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, let's taste it. Mom, look. Yeah, that's banana. Look, that's banana. That's banana. Wait, that's banana? That's banana. <laughs> 